I know you like it. <laughs> I know you like it. How many blowjobs do you want? Good morning and welcome to another beautiful week with John and Daniel Vlogs. Oh, I'm not feeling it today, but you know, I've got to do some work with my beautiful new client, which I'm going to focus on and uh, see how the day goes. I'm a bit tired though, you know. Oh, look at this, look at that, age. Fantastic. Are you ready to hear about John's next procedure? So, you look at all the fine lines and look at my eye there. You see like you've got the bagginess, buffiness, you've got some strong lines and the skin laxity. Well, that goes, not as dramatically, but that goes throughout my whole face. So what I've decided to do is go and see Chinsia next week. And we're gonna do a little bit of filming and a full facial treatment. So I'm gonna use this thing called RF fractional laser, which has little tiny, tiny needles, which perforates the skin and sends an RF beam down the skin. And it's targeting the problem areas, damaged areas, even fat, which is great because I've got lots of it. And then this literally tightens the skin when the skin repairs, it produces fibroblast, stimulates the fibroblast and produces collagen. So this should hopefully be another treatment just to add towards making myself feel a little bit more confident. Do you see how I said a little bit more confident? Not beautiful because I already am. How was the gym baby? All right, oh too. let me teach you tits. Oh they're so very sweaty. I came out of the gym. Disgusting. It's a horrible sweaty tits. I'm the one with sweaty tits. I'm all blurred. What can I possibly do? Again, as you know, the computer can't edit. I'm so sorry about the vlogs not going out. A couple of weeks ago, you're probably all right now because they come out. Can't edit. One of my clients was supposed to be coming back this morning to do work. Can't do that. I am stuck. I mean, look, I've done quite a lot today. I've done as much as I can. It is half past three. So I'm gonna finish work an hour and a half early and it's Thursday. But I just want to, I mean, I've tidied up a little bit in here. I've still got that chair to take downstairs, so I'll do it later. Um, with my beautiful <laughs> thick padded chair just there, which is great. Um, I think I'm gonna watch a movie, but I don't want to want to do shit. I can't. You know, frustrated, 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 frustrated. I want some water. Do you want some water? Who wants a treat? Huh? You know where the shop is, John? You should buy treats for the dogs. Why don't you ever go to the shop? I do. Unless you have to buy your milk. You know, I'm actually really, really crap for a couple of reasons. When it comes to commerce, I'm the worst. And I have house insurance, and I put the carpet on the house insurance, if you might remember. And that's slowly, slowly going through because I need a few more documentations. Anyway, because the computer, which is still knackered by the way, has gone in for repair because it just stopped working, I was panicking like mad. I was like, oh, I can't use the insurance for this because I've just made a claim at the same time. Anyway, I called the insurance to look me up and I said, look, this is the situation. They said, yeah, you can. So I've just got to get a bill from Apple and that is a real bonus. So that means the, hopefully, all the insurances will go through. So it's going to save me so much money, guys. Get home contents insurance, 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 insurance. It is so worth it. I'm saying that tentatively because it might not even go through. Come out. Come on, you two. I'm so sorry. Come on. Anyway, this, um, this massive, massive bodybuilder, he's quite, quite famous. Um, I mean, he's got hundreds of thousands of um, subscribers. He said that he wants 
apparently I had to go and take a meeting, but I've struggled a few times now. So he wants me to do like videography and photography and schedule all his social media and stuff like that. Anyway, I don't know all the details of it. Um, but I'm gonna give him a call, but I might give him a call on Monday, something like that. But we spoke a lot today about it. He says, yeah, this is what I want. So I think it's, you know, pretty exciting stuff. But then I get nervous, you know, get nervous, starting with new clients, especially because I've just got a new client now. Um, you know, but I just scheduled stuff, you know, what can I say? It's about that time again, it's chicken korma time. And the only reason I'm cooking chicken korma is because there was a massive, like, crappy, horrible sauce dish, which was left in the cupboard, and Daniel deep the chicken. So I thought I'll go and get a few more ingredients. So I got some more turmeric and I've got a little bit of chili. Oh, my eyes are stinking that. Oh, fucking hell. And then I'll make it a little bit more interesting. Whatever that means. It means that it's going to be absolutely amazing. I hope it won't. I'm just a bit nervous about this sauce because it looks a bit cheap. But you know what? By the time I've added all my ingredients, it's going to be wonderful. Well, I think that's how you do it. Alexa Kitchen on. Thank you. Because I think you do it in rings when you do. I don't know, does it really make any difference? It probably, you know, people are gonna say, yes, it absolutely does. I don't know if it does or not, but it's rings for me. And who doesn't like a nice bitter ring? Mm -hmm. I'm making um, chicken karma, I'll leave you some for tonight. I just, because I wanted to eat, um, finish what's in the fridge, it's okay. That's why I clean the tomatoes, John. In the, so for what? <laughs> to use it in food. I'm, I'm making food, what is wrong with it? You see, bad mood. You see, I didn't say anything to him. That's why, you know, I'm making a nice chicken korma, leaving some, and then he thinks I'm gonna eat fucking tomatoes. He's crazy. Okay, baby. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mine, take mine, thank you. No, that's what they Well, I'd like, you know, I've gotta go and get mine now. Okay, then, I'm waiting for you. I hate leg day. He keeps giving me leg day twice a week. He loves giving me leg day, I don't know why. He, I think he hates me. No, it's because leg day is big, me up, me pelvic area for me is actually better blowjob. So and, Daniel and is doing a, a... And a good sex life. So Daniel is doing a master class in blowjobs. And he needs that strength, that... There you go, he fucked my video. There's been a bit of drama here today. Well, there's been a kind of, not a drama everywhere today for me, as always. I, um, I had a message from the neighbor upstairs, David, and he said, the crack it up, up in there, and go, Sorry, just dropped your mic tit, I hope you don't mind. And he said, the crackers have tried to get in the, property again. So what they're doing is they're forcing the way into this um, secure door. You can't get in without a key fob. They've been in a few times anyway, so the police have called because they've been in like three, four, five times or hour now. It's probably more than that. I ordered some cameras. So I ordered these cameras, which apparently will work with Alexa. There was a deal for 50 pounds. So we'll have one outside in the top right corner of the building up there. You see where my white car is, just up there. And um, that will look out all on this area. And hopefully we'll look kind of forward down to the entrance as well, which would be great. Um, and I ordered one for the balcony because as you know, if you've been watching this vlog, they stole my frigging bike a few months ago off the balcony. So there's one going on the balcony. So these are Alexa. You know how much I like my Alexa um, stuff. So these are Alexa security cameras, two of them that'll do. That's a good thing. But they also connect to my network attached storage, which I think is probably not the best idea, but I'm gonna try, anyway, I'm gonna try and sort these out. Been on the phone to Apple for two freaking hours, trying to find a receipt for this, for this computer, which is in for repair at the moment. I can't find it because apparently what you need, listen to this, this is weird now. They have to write your name exactly, 
your address exactly, your Apple login details exactly, you, and your postcode exactly. If you get one digit wrong, they will not be able to find your receipt. And for the life of me, I can't find it anywhere. But the wonderful person at the Apple Clinic, Apple Clinic, the Apple store, said she can write something to say, I definitely know that he purchased from Apple this product, so make sure that you pay the insurance. Thank you. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Daniel's obviously slept in the other room, as he always, always does. But I was up at 7, 7.30 or something. And I went to Daniel, <laughs> dogs out, please, because I do it every morning, you know, for the first poo of we. Um, and he did, he took them. I know why he took them. I bought him an, eye, an Apple Watch. He's wanted one for such a long time. And I told him that I've got him one, so um, it should be coming in a few days. It's a, it's a Series 7, the latest one. And I think he's really happy, so I said, you've got to be nice to me in the morning. He's seen me up so much, just in general, that this morning he was all right. He was all right. And I don't ask him usually to get up and take the dogs out, but I just wanted to lay in. It was my first day off. And, you know, sometimes we need this, you know, just to lay in bed and do nothing. I might actually put a movie on, that's what I'm thinking. But I hope he enjoys his Apple Watch. Oh, God, I think I'll make him happy. The one, we both had one before, we both lost them. God knows how we've lost them. You know, I've got a funny feeling that they were stolen. I, I, cause I can't imagine them falling off the wrist. I think people have just gone like that, I want that. But obviously people are horrible. And they will just take it, especially if they can pick it up. But they won't be able to use it. If it's not impaired from their phone, you know, it locks. Sorry, stop stealing this shit. You can't do anything with it. It's just making people upset. Well, there's no rest for the wicked. I had a phone call from somebody where I actually text message and um, I've been asked, which I just did, I just went over to a new nail salon which has opened up literally across the road, actually, I'll show you it. He said he wants some other things doing like, oh, it's gonna take a lot. He wants a website and he wants some other stuff, um, but really it's pretty rough looking on the outside. It's very ugly. And I said, look, we're gonna have to... Didn't like saying it, but it's pink on the outside and then he's got yellow chairs on the inside, which is weird. Um, I, don't, I don't know, he hasn't... I think he's just gone in there full pelt and said, I'll have this, I'll have that. Um, but it, it needs to tie in now, if it can be done, let's see. I miss when I come back from home it's beans I love beans so today I'm gonna to make my own beans and I have I have lots of help from <laughs> she's like a scavenger dog you ready to help Johnny's taking a day off today so I'm gonna to have to do everything dogs are cleaning cooking washing going to work it's okay because i can be nice till the <laughs> apple watch comes <laughs> Millie, wait go 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 i'm gonna have a ball no ball i'm gonna try to keep this in the shade because it's still very hot Tree leaves have all fallen and it's mid July. What the hell is going on? It's small at least. Fetch! And this shade is perfect for Dogo. It's literally covered on trees. Come on, you decided to arrive. Good. Honestly, it's like the best day ever. I spent most of the day in bed. Um, Obviously went out to see that client and I got some deliveries from Amazon. So the first delivery what I've got is this camera. So it connects with Alexa and I'm going to put this in the balcony. I'm going to play with it here first, but it's kind of a cute little thing. If I can get it out. There you go. So it's gonna like pan up and down, left and right, and you can fix it up on the wall like that. So hopefully that will, you know, work. And then I got another one for outside, which is basically 
that kind of shape. I'm gonna play with it in bed. I meant the camera, you dirty bastard. Stupid fucking problems all morning. It's all the with Daniel. And oh, I tried to put the um, new Wi-Fi camera outside and I did. I managed to successfully do that. And um, anyway, arguments with Daniel because his alarm went off 20 million times again this morning. Then he decided to fix the coffee machine because that woke me up. And I asked him, I said, um, where's this particular tool which he showed me? <laughs> Screaming. Anyway, now the computer's got to go back because they've said that um, my computer's been repaired, which is great news, so I can get that one back. They open at 12, it's about 22. I've got to go into the shower, um, and the house is a fucking mess. Well, Stop looking, you fanny. Anywho, I'm just gonna get a quick shower and then I'll just take my underwear off while I'm speaking to you. In the hot shower, it's getting too hot. And then I'm gonna get my shit done. Oh, it's too hot. But I'm moaning, I'm really moaning. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't think I've seen a lot of summer really. I mean, look, most of the time I've been trying to keep out of the sun so I don't knacker up my face, which is like massively important. I just want to keep these good looks for as long as possible. But I have noticed my face started to sag down as well, which needs to clean up. You know, I need some kind of internal scaffolding. Scaffolding? Scaffolding. Scaffolding in the form of PDO threads, I think, surely. You know what, I just got so much on. Bro, I'm chiseling away at things, you know, bit by bit. The computer's gonna be returned, the one what I've got. I'll pay for the new computer, uh, sorry, the repaired computer. Um, the, oh my God, guy, amazing body here. I can't turn the camera around, time to show you, but he is stunning. Obviously, he's got his top off, and if I had a body like that, I would have my cock out, really. Not even my body, just my knob hanging about like that. Okay, back in Westfield, back at the Mac shop. Okay. How fucking annoying. So I just returned 1,300 pounds, and then that money for the return, obviously I'm gonna use it to pay for my repair, which is 700 pounds. So I returned the thing, had the money, and then I was like, okay, got the money in the bank, then I'll do that. Oh, it takes four days. I'm like, because I just tried to pay for the, what's this? You've been paid, this is ridiculous. Anyway, so I've got to wait four days to get this money, up to four days to get this money back. And then um, I didn't have enough money in my account. My, my father holds most of my money for me. So I asked him to transfer a lump of my money. Can't get hold of him. My mum doesn't know how to do it because she never does this stuff. So I'm just walking out. I'm like, I'm just gonna get a coffee. Let me see if I can get hold of my dad, get the right amount of, back, the, right amount of the account. Um, it just, you know, it's first of all boring problems, but obviously I'm going to share it. <laughs> Look what freaking Millie did. So annoyed with her. Look, I got this cable, this extra cable come, and then she drags it off the side and then I've broken my little um, earth pen. But this is the camera what I've put up just there, and then it should, you know, look at all the cars down there, which would be really cool. But what I've got to do now is, well, <laughs> Hopefully, it will actually get a Wi-Fi signal. It kind of does, but it was really intermittent. I'm thinking if it's stationary, it's not going to be so bad because I was like wobbling about. Um, and then I've got to get the cable all the way through to follow these wires and then get it in through the hole. <laughs> and then I've got some trunking already. Hopefully I can pipe it all the way down there and into the box over there. I have to deal with this shit. Daniel, don't do it. I don't mind, you know, I do mind. Do I? Oh. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I do. Now I can be hyper paranoid about what's happening outside. This is a problem now, so I, I'm like thinking, what's happening? Is anything happening? And I've got these Alexa screens, two of them now. And I'm thinking, I want to see what's going on. I want to see everything. And it's not healthy because I'm like, look at the what's happening again? Is anybody coming around the corner? What are they doing? Is that interesting? Not such a good idea. But this little system, you've probably got one yourself. And if you don't, I'll tell you, these Wi-Fi systems and the, the cheaper systems, which I opted for, they kind of record really short clips. 
lots of them as soon as motion is detected. But they are very, very short, but they do save to your, you know, to your app. Wherever they store them, I don't know. So it means that you can go in and look at the timeline if there's any damage or if you just really want to spend hours looking through footage of just somebody walking past, you know. Anyway, more importantly, I have got some stay. Which I'm gonna put in my mouth. And eventually it's gonna come out of my bum bum. Mm. That's what happens in human nature. I'm not joking. I took down his keys this morning because it pissed me off so much. I saw him. He just called me, he said, open the door. He stood downstairs. I've been trying to show him that all you've got to do is be nice. He's got the full reign of this flat, which is absolutely fine. Do you know what I mean? He, he deserves to be here, but he cannot do what he did to me this morning. I'm going to let him in now. Let's see what his face is like. I just hung up on him. You gonna come in? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Get out. You know, every night, you're not, I'm not giving you the keys. I'm gonna control whether they decide to let you in or not. I actually have other keys in my pocket, but I want to give you the, the controls. Did you take the other keys? I always had You better spare. not, I want the spare set. You can't do that. You didn't have them, did you? You know you didn't, otherwise you'd have used them. You got annoyed. I might be nasty in the morning, but I am the food provider. There's lots of food left over from, from work and I bring it to the dogs. They wait for me, just like John waits, but John waits with, with, with a knife in his hands. In the... No, thank you. The dogs only love you because you give them food. Exactly, at least they love you. Isn't that amazing how one little fuck up can knock your whole confidence? Daniel didn't put the shaver back to number two, so he had it on zero. Never put it back, it's never been like that. It's a fucking shame my beard on it. And because I'm fat, you know, and it looks like I've got a round face, it's literally knocked on my confidence. I'm very, very upset. If it's not one fucking thing, it's another. Honestly, never again. We have a split up, I'm living alone. I know these little things just to feel like shit. Another pizza joint? Uh, let me take, can I have that one? Can I have that box, please? Thank you so much. I don't know even know if it is. You got a little bit already. I haven't. Not at all. <gasps> Ooh. So they bought these straps in addition, so you've got a choice. Like you've got the very gay straps there. Where's the charger? We have chargers now. Let's have a look at it. What do you think? Beautiful. So you have to put it on the charger and get it done. It's really clean, isn't it? Yeah. Very good condition. Thank you. Thank you, John, so much. You're the best boyfriend. <laughs> you still <laughs> I hate you. I think Daniel was, um, he thought that this was a dodgy phone, which deal. I got for him, a dodgy deal. It wasn't, I know it wasn't a dodgy, but look at this. He actually gave us some, um, like some straps and inside here can you see just behind the blue one there are gay straps because that's the only that's the agreement you have to wear the gay straps for that watch otherwise you're never going to wear it what is that one wearing no you have to that's a, that's a law i'd rather go with watch this no you wouldn't shit i still haven't finished i've got to get all the um Batteries out to charge them tomorrow, the light and everything. No, we'll take it out now. Oh, and then Daniel. Oh, Daniel. What? What have you got? I'm busy. I'm, I'm, choosing, I'm, cho I'm choosing my. Uh, hey! I used to have Mickey Mouse two years ago before I lost my other watch, so 
There you go. The updates. Whatever I had two years ago is still here. You see? Yeah. I thought you did. Um... It didn't work. Oh, it didn't. Oh, crap. the gym I was hoping that I, I, I was going to wear the new Apple watch that John got me but when I was trying to set it up it's still locked to this person's iCloud so I can't do anything about it I hope this is not a scam because I will be really really pissed off just out Say something nice. Say something nice. I got up really hungry, and when I get hungry, I eat anything that is in the fridge. John doesn't want anything. That's what he says. You didn't want any food, did you? You didn't want any food, did you? I'm gonna die. Why. You don't have to make me force me to eat this, you know. No. You have to put it in my face. Want to eat it to make me get fat. Really? You eat it. Let me take my bag out. Get my batteries charged tomorrow. Get everything out. Come off the bed. I need to lift it up and get underneath and pull out lots of shit. Oh! Okay. Right. So I'm gonna need this. Oh. Get this on my kit in. This is the light, which we're definitely going to need. So I'm going to have to um, oh, charge up batteries for the microphone as well. Oh, another treatment. My, my, my skin resurfacing tomorrow. <laughs> Look, the beard has to come off, as I said. But... I've got a meeting tomorrow. I shall come out for the photo shoot. It's not even a, I say it's a photo shoot, it's actually me having the treatment. So what's gonna be really weird is I'm gonna come back, my face is gonna be red, knackered, stinging, and the guy's gonna be looking at me like, what have you had done? I'm gonna look like a crazy mad person. Well, today's the day with me with my big fat face. I'm gonna go over with Daniel. And I'm gonna get little pricks in my face and hopefully this skin, and I'm gonna look a mess, you know, after it's all done and everything, I'm gonna look <laughs> red and marked, I don't know, maybe a week, something like that. Uh, but it's gotta be done. People say don't get it done because it's still summer, but look, it's pretty dark. I mean, I know we're gonna have some hot days again, but I've got, you know, factor 50 every day I go out with the dogs and then, you know, I don't go out anyway, so <laughs> it's not gonna affect me. Hello, baby, you're not supposed to be out. That was a baby little wren. So cute. Anyway, he's gone back in the bushes now, thank goodness, so the dogs can't eat him. I'm really nervous. I'm so ugly. <laughs> Ma, what's so funny? You didn't know? <laughs> oh, I feel horrible, <laughs> you know? I mean, it was bad enough, like, having to shave the beard today, but then... And I'm just so fat and my hat hair's face is hanging down. I just feel horrible. Gym baby, gym. Yeah, I know, it is, it's, I'm, t I'm just taking too many calories, even though I don't feel like I am, I obviously am. You know, it's those little bits of cheese and even though- He causes it a little bit, but everything that is in the fridge, he finishes it. So I don't know what is the missing quite, I don't know why I'm getting so affected by it. You know, I wish it could be like, like ugly people and they don't care. Maybe I actually am like that. Because I'm like an ugly person who just doesn't, doesn't care. No, but because the beard was covered in the, the truth. Fat, yeah, the beard was like... If it was like that... Oh God, even worse. But, I got, but look at that, it's like mo... I need to be like this. Actually, I just need a new fucking head. I think if I had... A, if they had head transplants, I think things would be better, you know? You don't go for these treatments, you just get a new head. A different brain, yeah? 
because that's is very important. No, my brain's perfect. Uh, maybe just change the brain and then everything's gonna be fine because that's what you're probably gonna really hate myself at the moment. I mean, at least business is going well, that's one good thing. But, you know, your beard's gonna grow, John. You're gonna be looking perfect again. I do, I know you're right, it's the fat, isn't it? That's what's making me look ugly, it's the fat. Don't you think? Just, you look like your mother. Oh no. I look feminine, don't I? I've got a feminine fat face. And that's true. Feminine fat face. All the Fs put together. Fucking feminine fat face. Fuck. I know you like it. I know you like it. How many blowjobs do you want? Like this. Does it pick up the... Yeah? On Daniel, uh, as for his request, as he didn't want to have uh, a complete frozen uh, forehead, I decided to go for a less unit and create like a baby Botox for his forehead, just to uplift it a tiny bit and just to smooth a bit the line. My, my eyebrows are really, really high. They don't go spiky. Yeah. And I don't like them to go up. I'm going to put a couple here, so they will just lift. We can tackle that muscle, we'll lift a bit, so we'll give it more like a natural look. And we're going to do it here. In order to lift the eyebrows, you need to inject on the orbicular iotis here and perhaps here, so that will lift everything. But because it doesn't want that lifting, I just inject on the temporalis here. Also what happened, it will just lift his forehead a bit. So without giving him, give him like a, a natural look, just exactly what he wants to achieve. I feel sorry for John because he goes through so much pain just to look just a little bit better, just to look just a little bit better than his own boyfriend. You know, it's hard life. I don't feel sorry for his pain. <laughs> because you are like a dominatrix, my love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John has a, a series of requirements for his skin. He wanted something that would help him to uh, get rid of uh, the redness and some of the pigmentation that he has on it. Also, he wanted an anti-aging treatment and it's got few open pores. Obviously, the first part of the treatment is to clean the skin. So we use a quite strong uh, third of that. So we're trying to really get rid as much as impurity as possible. So the Tribella is a complete uh, treatment made of three uh, very sophisticated technology uh, that can combine all its requirements in one go. So we did the skin rejuvenation for uh, the tone of his skin. So that will help with the pigmentation and will help a bit with the uh, broken uh, capillaries. Also, we did the radio frequency for the redensify the skin and tighten the skin because it's got a bit of an issue with his jawline. The radio frequency will stimulate again the fibroblast and all the elastin and will help the skin to tighten. It. And also, it can reduce a bit of uh, fat tissue. So it's good for uh, give it a good definition to the jawline. At the end, we did the skin resurfacing, which will stimulate the collagen and will actually bring everything together and will just give a much smoother texture. The skin will be will feel like sunburn for a, about an hour, an hour and a half, because obviously we distribute a lot of heat under the skin in order to wake up the fibroblast. After that, the heat will go and the skin will start to feel a bit rough. So for the next few days, the skin will feel very, very rough, but that is because the new skin will start to push the old skin out. The downtime for the Tribella, uh, it's normally between three to five days. It depends also on the skin type. Some people have a bit more uh, fragile skin, so the skin might uh, end up being very, very red for five days. Someone may have a stronger skin, so it recuperate and um, uh, heal much quicker. There you go. Fat free pizza, baby. I've made it spicy, is that all right? I'm waiting for you to complain. Very nice. Oh, thank God. Since he said that I 
couldn't put makeup on yesterday or any moisture or anything, but today I put a bit of moisturizer on and a little bit of makeup because <laughs> I had to. I mean, I still look like a mess, especially without my beard, but I just feel a little bit better. Look at those dimples in my cheek. Those need to be filled out. No, they're not supposed to be there. Filler time. Daniel found this in the park. It's really cool. Let me just grab hold of it. Ooh. And it extends all the way out. The only thing is taking it to the park, I've got a feeling that somebody might say, oh, that's mine, you nicked it. I mean, I'll just give it back, you know, but I can't find the other one. I think it's in the car, but this is actually really cool. It's called Fetch, which is, <laughs> you know, exactly the name you need for a product like this. Well, well, it's the same yeah, but we just follow ways, you know. I just, I, I don't know. We were ways. just told by Chinsia because we got the photo shoot, video shoot with Chinsia this morning, and um, she said, "Oh, why don't you come this way, that way?" And I just put ways into the phone because I thought, I thought it calculates the fastest. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'm just presuming the he, fastest way. He knows exactly how to go there, but he follows the map. What an idiot! Well, no, I don't think so because. Because it calculates shit. So obviously it can see where the traffic is. It makes more sense, D Daniel, I think. Okay. But I keep saying I think lightly because I don't think all the time. He's covered in makeup. Am I? Am I? Oh no, I am. Uh, oh, it's so hard to be ugly, you know? <laughs> covered in makeup. <laughs> Underneath is like a different person. Uh, in the case of Natasha, she just wanted to refine the texture of the skin and uh, to minimize the fine line and her pores in her forehead. So I think this is the most suitable treatment for it. We have to clean the skin, but also to sterilize the skin because obviously there are needles that are going to perforate the skin, create micro channels. I'm going to inject a serum that is a high concentration of hyaluronic acid uh, mixed with vitamins. They will, this will boost the skin and will help the peptide to flourish. Always start from the forehead because it's slightly the most painful. Always do it in uh, uh, lines because if you do it in circular, you can actually break the skin. You can also go very close to the eye and you can actually have with dark circle and with lack of elasticity in the eye. We applied a soothing mask, which will actually help the skin to cool down. And uh, it's, uh, it contains lots of hyaluronic acid. So that will help the skin to plump up, but also to get suited. She wanted a smoother skin and she wanted a bit rejuvenating the skin. So microneedling is an excellent treatment for the texture of the skin. It can be used also for acne scars but it can tackle fine lines, it can tackle open pores, it can tackle all sorts of things, even grainy skin, so it will just help to rejuvenate the skin. All right, all right. so, so nearly <laughs> done, Chinzia and John are still friends, they haven't killed each other, and now I'm gonna Not get, yet. I'm gonna get a stick, a stick skin tag remover. He's gonna get a penis On removal. my penis. And there's nothing, <laughs> Don't actually get a skin tag on your penis, would you take about? Um, yes. <laughs> oh, he has one. I don't have one. You haven't seen it because you never touch your penis. <laughs> that was a bit intense. Chintia, initially, she was a bit nervous. And then filming towards the end, she was a pro absolute pro i was right kind of she was very good i actually. was actually kind of impressed i was like oh my god like, all right then bitch it's <laughs> really good even even after so many years of youtube i'm shit i admit that i am shit. no i don't think you're that shit. <laughs> she was really good she was good very professional um amazing you know everything you know the engagement with the camera you name it i was very very happy and she knows her shit. she does Best thing about today is that I had a skin tag here and it looked like a mole, it was like a big chunky one. 
and you can't see it in front, but on the side you can see it because the light will shine on it. And she got rid of it. As you're saying that, Daniel's got the biggest mole on his bike, like a spider with hairs coming out of it, which is pretty <laughs> disgusting. It's not actually, I mean, it's part of it Daniel, is disgusting. So I love it. It's like a big spider. It's spider, but we're gonna get rid of it. And I actually have one right in the middle of my bum crack. <laughs> <laughs> Just get to get rid of that. Of course. Oh my god. A bit of sexual activities. <laughs> Thank you, Cheats. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for moving my bum mole. Well, you know, a doctor is a doctor. Maybe it's just a cling on. Maybe it's not even a mole. No, it is. It's not. It's a, it's a, it's a skin it's type. Piece of shit. It's me. What a long week. I'm so happy it's over and done with lots of filming for Chintia. And I'm so happy that we've had the facial treatments. I'm going to look so much better in a few weeks. Daniel will never look as good as me because I'm amazing. Shut up! But it's the end of the week. And I'm going to say again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week on Thursday, 6.30.